<laughs> what is up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another exciting episode of Staff Shorts with me, your host, Steph. Today we are going to be talking about four things. The first one being Nintendo shutting down live streamers, even if you are a part of the Creator Club. The upcoming game being released into the tip system, BCE, which should be released as of now. Ogre, which is a game that will be coming next week into the tip system. And finally, we're going to talk some old school news. We're going to be talking about a developer for Sega who has now come forward revealing secrets of Sega from back in the times when they were making the Sega Mega Drive cartridges, or Genesis, as you Americans might know them. All that and more in today's episode of Staff Shorts. So, first off, we are going to talk about Nintendo taking away the ability to livestream from those in its creator club. Nintendo are now saying, You shall not livestream. Yes, Nintendo's always rocky with creators' relationship is again. Like a ship, so because of Nintendo's creator adverse opinions, you now have one of two options. Number one, you can leave the Nintendo Creators Club so you can continue live streaming Nintendo content. But with that in mind, you won't be able to monetize any of your pre-recorded Nintendo videos any longer. And option the second is you spin up a second channel where you can now live stream Nintendo content from that channel, but you will not be able to monetize anything on that channel. So those are pretty much your two options. What do you think of Nintendo's new objective to crush the live streamers? Let me know in them comments down below and let's have a discussion. Story the second. So we're going to talk a little bit about BC. You saw a bit of this in the last video. It is now live in our dashboard system. Simply head there and check under the tip section to grab yourself a free copy. But remember to come back and submit a video about BC after you've played it a little while. Also in there you'll find new asset packs which we are going to be releasing with every single title we put into the tip system and in that you'll find thumbnail templates, end card templates, live stream templates, custom music made by us for use specific to the game and lots of other cool things. Along with this we'll also be hosting a BCE event on Friday the 13th nice day I know and that will be hosted by Noel from the Brotherhood of Gamers who you may also have seen. Noel will be playing with you guys, he'll be doing developer interviews, you guys will get the opportunity to play with the developers and you can make some awesome content while participating in an event with Freedom Family members. So make sure to check that out and also check out our Discord where you'll now find a BCE channel live so you can hook up with other creators and collaborate in making awesome content. Remember you can both claim the game from the dashboard so there's no excuse not to play together. Okay, so the next story for you guys is about Ogre, a game we will be releasing in the dashboard sometime next week. Remember to keep your peepers on our social media so you can be the first to find out when it launches. So what is Ogre? Ogre is a game where you play either a massive tank or a massive army. The massive tank having multiple weapons, multiple ways of destroying enemies, the army trying to stop it doing so. So this is an old school war game. For those of you familiar with games like Warhammer, you'll sort of know some of the mechanics around this. And it is amazing fun. We've been playing it in the office this week. And it is one of those games that once you start, it, there's just so many strategies to master. It is really a deep thinkers game. If you're into civs, if you're into any tabletop war games, you will love this title. So an ogre is an absolutely massive tank. And the absolutely massive tank's job is to destroy the absolutely massive army and also to destroy their HQ. It really is a fun game. It's um, it must be 10, 15 years old now, the war game version of it, and they are just releasing on PC. So make sure to keep your eye on our social media to find out when that releases, with its asset pack, and also with its Discord channel, so you guys can collaborate together. And finally, news the fourth. This is some old school news, some news I found particularly interesting being an avid gamer and a collector of games of sort. So an old school developer that used to work on the Sega Mega Drive or Sega Master System or Sega Genesis, depending on where you come from, today has come forward and been revealing secrets of the programmers behind the Sega systems. So, one of the secrets he was talking about and why it works is a secret in the original Sonic where if you put the cartridge into the system and then bash it a couple of times and slap it around, 
you will then get access to a secret level select screen. And what is actually happening is when the game crashes or the CPU in the system can't read something, it is throwing up a super secret level select screen instead of throwing up error 404 content not found or something along those lines. So his videos are super interesting and I really do recommend you check them out because there's some really cool secrets that nobody ever realized about the Sega Mega System. All that will be linked in the description for you guys to check out. And that is it for another episode of Staff Shorts, ladies and gentlemen. I've been Steph, your host, and I hope you come back next time and watch some more. We will have more exciting news for you, more free game giveaways, all sorts of stuff. So, as always, let me know what you thought of the show in those comments down below. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it, a thumbs down if you didn't, and also remember to drop a subscribe so I can continue making this show for you. I'll see you next time, Freedom Family. Bye! Done. Done if the lighting isn't.